let's look at a common hash or message digest command uh, in Linux. So what is a hash or message digest? It is a fixed length output that you get when you pass an input through an algorithm. A hash or a message digest is a fixed length output that you get when you pass an input through an algorithm. The fixed length output is called message digest hash or hash code for developers. The frequently used term is hash. Now, the input can be of any length. It can be a small file or it can be a huge gigabyte file. It can be a small sequence of characters or bytes or it can be a huge sequence of characters. Depending on the size of the input, you get the hash relatively faster or after some time. If the input is small, you get the hash relatively faster compared to when the input is really huge. The catch is that for the same input and the same algorithm, you will get the same hash. If the input ever changes and given the algorithm is the same, you will get a different hash. So you can say that there is a file which had a hash 10 minutes ago and that hash is different from the hash now. You can say that the content of that file has changed. And depending on the name of the algorithm and the size of the output, uh, you label uh, the algorithm. For example, if it is the secure hash algorithm and you are asking for a 256-bit hash, you call, call it as a SHA-256 algorithm. If you are asking the algorithm to give you a 512-bit hash, you call it SHA-512. Another common algorithm is MD5 sum. The most common one is SHA-256 or SHA-512. Let's look at SHA-256. The current folder has three files. Let's look at the contents of these files. That's the file config. That's config.1 and that's config.2. Notice that config and config.2 have the same content. That is, retry attempts is 10. It's 10 in config. And retry interval is 4. And it's 4 in config. And config.2. Config.1 is different in only one entry. That is, retry interval is 3 instead of 4. Just one character is different. Let's calculate the SHA-256 sum on all of these files. You do that by passing the name of the file to the command and you get an output. The first column is the 256-bit hash as hexadecimal. So you have 64 characters where each character is 4 bits and the name of the file. So that's the SHA-256 for this particular file config. Let's do the same for config.1 and let's do the same for config.2. Notice that config.2 and config the hash is the same, the SHA-256 hash is the same because the contents are the same. Config.1 has a completely different SHA-256 hash. Even if the content changed by only one character, the hash is completely different. So you can say that these two files have different content. Now, that's calculating the checksum or the hash. Let's say that 
we have these files and their hashes now uh, and we want to figure out if these files have changed next week or after some time what can we do we can store the hashes the current hashes in a file and check it later run the commands after one week and compare the hash that we get after a week with the one that is stored already and the commands help us to do that by storing the hashes so let's store the SHA-256 sums of all these files in another file called SHA-256 sums list so we do that with a for loop instead of running it again three times to write up these quick for loops on the shell refer to the video on for loops so let's run it for now and check the contents of that SHA-256 sums list file so if you look at that it's just the same as the ones we did previously for each of the files we just put it line by line in another file called SHA-256 sums list now let's say that we want to use this file to make sure that the contents of these files have not changed let's say after a week the way that we do that is we tell the command to check it against this file using the dash c option and you pass the file with all the checksums to the dash c option and it will tell you if the hashes match it will tell you okay and if the hashes don't match it will tell you that it failed so what the command does when it does a check is for every file listed in that list it will calculate the current hash and compare it with the hash in the file if it matched the file has not changed so it will say okay let's go and change the contents of one of these files let's go and change two and just make a small change we will set retry attempts to one instead of ten so config dot two has now changed from the last time we stored the hashes okay config dot two has changed from the last time we stored the hashes in this file and when we ask the command to check it will say that config dot two failed the checksum test or the hash test why because the content has changed the new checksum for config dot two is this the new content or the new SHA-256 sum for config.2 is this which is not the same as the one that we stored previously which means the files have changed or the input has changed so that's checksums and message digest uh, there are uh, different commands that support different algorithms md5 sum is another commonly used but there are lots of uh, algorithms and sha256 and sha512 are the most common and frequently used